checking in for a July stash acquisitions video. Are you still knitting in July? I love to knit all year round. I love to knit in the summer. I have a whole stack of whips happening right now in that air conditioning by the pool, at the beach if I go to the beach, which I try really hard not to go to the beach, on road trips, on the plane. I have knitting for all occasions. I hope you're still knitting or crocheting or whatever you do. I also love to bring out the needlepoint and the embroidery and the sewing machine in the summer. It's just my time to make, make, make. And I wanted to check in right now to have a bit of a stash acquisitions video for this July. If you are new to my channel, maybe you're unfamiliar with my monthly stash acquisitions video. I sit here and show you some of the beautiful things I'm either working on or have acquired in the fiber world, and then I announce a giveaway for one of my patrons. This month's giveaway is for the KG Crew, which is the $22 a month level. It is the fewest amount of patrons that I have, and they get the most giveaways, and I usually choose the most exciting items to save for my KG Crew because they are huge donors to my channel and a really big support of the channel and as you go down the tiers there are fewer giveaways and so so the one dollar level being the fiberistas there's one giveaway a year but i try to give out about 20 prizes for that and then there is the next level which is six dollars which is the yarnorama and then the eleven dollar level which is the knitterati and so Depending on what level you give, there are more or less giveaways. Also on patreon.com, I have blog posts up with coupon codes, early access to knit-alongs or items that are for sale, and I try my hardest to give you an extra bonus video every month. If you haven't found it already, the Andrea Untangled event is over there for your viewing pleasure, but it's only accessible if you are one of my patrons. So thank you so much for considering supporting my channel. I am almost to, I might be beyond 600, I haven't checked, but I have about 600 of you who who support the channel and that's over 25,000 subscribers. There are 600 of you who are completely dedicated to my community and it makes the biggest difference for me. It's made it a job for me. It's given me the ability to travel, meet people and bring it to you, which is my pride and joy. So thank you so much for all of that. There's a link to my Patreon account underneath this video if you are interested in being a patron and I would really appreciate that so much. So now for the stash acquisitions. I wanted to start with something a little bit different for me. I saw an ad for this and it was a total influencer Instagram ad purchase. It's the train case by Jimmy Beans Wool, Namaste. And I actually ordered it when it was on back order and it just arrived. So I haven't even put it to good use yet but it has a little hole for your yarn. And well, I love a train case anyway, but a lot of the times when you find a vintage train case, they smell. So it's not, it's no bueno. Inside here we have the inside. It looks like it will hold a lot. It has a nice, maybe a faux suede inside here with this nice pocket, which is magnetized. These are magnets right here. See it? That's magnets. So it, sticks right in there. And usually in a namaste it comes with a little, a little explanation or a little something something. So let's see what's in here. I believe this is, oh look, this is just some knitter's graph paper right here so I can have it on hand. And then like I said before, it's all magnetized so it's really not fussy at all to open and close and you can feed your yarn through the yarn feeder there on the side. I just, I just thought it was fun to have sort of an untraditional looking knitting case and I had to have it. I pressed by, I got it. I recently picked up this t-shirt, Make All The Things. I got this at Brooklyn Craft Company. I think it's brilliant. I love wearing a t-shirt on, on the show here. And I just loved it. I love the font, the color, everything. Make all the things. And just by way of ending my stash acquisition section, I have recently picked up my first Barrett Wool Company. You have seen Susan B. Anderson here on my channel a few times. We did a really quick interview during a Vogue Knitting Live session where she had been teaching all day. We had 15 minutes. I was hyper. I was crazy. And then we did a longer version of an interview and a show and tell session in Madison, Wisconsin, which was a Patreon paid for trip. Thank you. And we got to dig into a little more about who she is, her life. I asked her a lot of fan questions, which was so much fun. And I will link to that interview underneath 
this one so that you can check it out. But I made my first Barrett Wool Company purchase. I really wanted to get a sweater's quantity, but I have to really hold back on the yarn acquisition right now because I just have too much yarn and I cannot knit fast enough. I cannot crochet fast enough. But I did think I could maybe manage to do a few of these kits. So the first kit I got is the Little Dragon Kit. I love this tag so much. And inside is the wool, Barrett wool, which I'm pretty sure is completely Wisconsin made. We, we covered it in our interview. I should definitely know. Oh my gosh, it's so squishy and nice. So squishy and nice. And inside there is the download code for the Little Dragon pattern, as well as this looks like, this sounds like stitch markers. Let's just check. Yes stitch markers and this looks like a little amigurumi situation so we have safety eyes and some black thread I'm guessing to add the details of the little face so it is so crazy to know that just this yarn will do it for this dragon I'm guessing that there is some stuffing that needs to happen as well so I will get my own stuffing um, I'm assuming that that is what is required as well to make this little stuffed dragon. So I'm really excited to embark on my first Susan B. Anderson knitting toy. And for my second, oh, and this is a, this is a nice coaster that they sent, which is so cute because it's like embroidered, Bear Wool Co. And the second one I got is the Oliver Pig Kit because when Susan poses for those pictures and she's just holding her toys in her hands with her little linen dress and her sweaters. It's just so adorable and I just love her so much. So in this kit, more stitch markers, download code for the pattern and safety eyes and black thread. So those are mainstays, those three things, but look at the wool, look at the piggy pink. And I know that there's like an outfit change. So I think I think this might be for the outer sweater and this for the inner shirt sweater and this for the pants. I think that's I think that's what I'm looking at here. So Oliver Pig with these colors is the most adorable thing I can imagine. And now I need someone to knit this for. I might have to keep this one. I just I love it. I love it so much. And now I'm wondering if Oliver Pig has buttons on his sweater. Well, maybe I should check. Maybe there's buttons in there. If I want to add buttons and stuffing, that does not come in the kit, just in case you're wondering. But everything else, all the beautiful wool and the pattern does come in the kit. So this is perfect summer knitting. Perfect, perfect summer knitting. Now let's get to the giveaway part. I wanted to show you that I'm giving away a kit for a ranunculus. You've probably seen pictures of me wearing this or wearing it somewhere else, but this is the ranunculus that I knit with Chelsea Lux yarn. I barely gauge swatched on this and I went up a needle size, so I did run out of the main color yarn, but apparently if you just stick to the pattern as written and get gauge and just do the short sleeves, this is a one-in-one -one skein project. So that being said, the first giveaway is the yarn to make your own. One in one in the Chelsea Lux Pink Peony color. And I loved working with this yarn so much. This one is MCN. This is Mohair Silk. So the combination of the two is not only so lovely to have on the needle, but it's so lovely to wear. So this is a ranunculus kit. The ranunculus is one size only. So if for some reason this is not enough yardage for you, please do something else with it. It's plenty of yardage to do something fun. As you can see, it makes this much fabric. Or give it to a friend or knit it for someone else who it will fit. And that hopefully will be a very fun knit for you. It goes by so quickly because it's on size 10 needles. For me, I did 10 and a half. So remember, I ran out of yarn. So this is the first giveaway and then I was reminded that I still have not given away this from wool stock I have this wool stock cotton wool and coffee it's a cotton wool and coffee shop in Copenhagen Denmark this is a little um, tote that I got there that says I knit so I won't kill people and inside is the kit from Sweden so I went to meet the Angora rabbits in Sweden, and this is a kit that I still have not given away just yet. So this is the Grillwork Blue Tam, and this has the 
I believe this is the English pattern. Yes. So I have the English pattern printout. I have one printout of this right here. And then I got you all of the yarn for it. In here, I believe is, oh look. So this has the color chart. And what is so nice is it can't, so the color chart is here and you're reading the certain, the certain colors that are in the chart, but she put the colors that correspond with it, she tied them on here so you're all set, ready to go. So this part of the pattern is in Swedish, but we have the English version here, and the most important part is the chart. Now, one thing I have to tell you, what she warned me about bohu stickening, because this is the bohu stickening tradition from Sweden. Here's the kit, by the way. What she reminded me at least about the sweater, which I have not started yet. Here, let me just show you this gorgeous Angora. I think it's a blend of Angora and wool. I got this directly from the farm in Sweden. This is a big ticket item. So here's all of the beautiful yarn. And what she told me is when you're doing this type of knitting that you ignore everything that came before. So you just take it one row at a time. I'm not sure if that will help you or not if you win but I just wanted to give you that tip. And if you win this and you are not a really big, dedicated, geeking out about all the things nerdy knitter, again, I encourage you to get this in the right hands for someone who will really appreciate both stickening and the tradition there. And so that's, that's, a, that's a good gift. Okay, finally, oh, two more. So this is a kit from Trey Liz, who we love her so much. She's our favorite Greek knitter. Op Optometrist, designer extraordinaire. She was on my channel. She has the best energy. She's so positive. She always has this saying, color is power, fiber is our weapon. And this is her pattern for the Alalis. And she has included it all here in this kit right here. So the colorways that you see are Instant Crush, Lady Marmalade, Beautiful Liar, Requiem for a Dream, New Rules, and Deep End. And it's the high twist fingering weight, 50 gram skeins, 100% superwash BFL. So the one picture here is exactly what the kit is for. So the, this I have, look, here's a, here's a picture of the beautiful brioche shawl. So this is a really good gift. So this is for you as well. So Shelly, who owns Loops, a yarn store, and she's the mastermind behind Knit Stars. I think they're up to 4.0 now. She gifted me these skeins of yarn when we did our interview last year. These are from La Vienna May, and I believe this was for a kit that was part of a knit along or something they had in their shop. It may, it probably isn't happening right now, but it doesn't matter because these three skeins go beautifully together. It's La Vienna May yarn from Paris, France. So I'm a very international offering here today for my KG crew because my KG crew is the bomb.com. So these three together will make a beautiful, beautiful shawl. It's very hard for me to part with all of these. It's hard for me to part with all of these, but one of the reasons I love my Patreon account is I can acquire or shop for things and feel no guilt because I know it will eventually get knit up by someone, even if it's not by my own hands. So this will be a gorgeous three color shawl for a lucky winner. Thank you so much for watching to this point. It's July stash positions. I know you're busy out having a wonderful summer with family and friends, and maybe you're not knitting right now, but regardless, if you're part of my KG crew, which is the $22 a month level, amazing! You're eligible for one of these four prizes today, and it is my pleasure to send it out to you. So make sure you're checking your Patreon messages so you can get back to me with your address and I can get these into your hot little knitting and crocheting hands. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I love that you're part of my community and I just, this brings me all the joy that I'm able to do this as my job for you and it, I could not do it without the Patreon account. So thank you so much and I will see you next time on Christy Glass Knits. Bye.